Part four. The end of everything. Nice. Nice. Yup. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a it's like riding a bike! I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Um, I like go over the plots of books I've read. Oh, look at the smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. Alright, well. Oh, I'm B now. I kind of like that. So no word from her parents? Nope. Did you leave a message? That's bad, right? Yep. Yerp. Thanks, guys. Huh? Huh? This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listen to like half the bands on it. We're gonna see the blank tones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know. I'm really mad that I did really well on that jumping puzzle and it didn't matter. I don't see him out there. I don't see him out there. Just wait, he'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is? A uh, big guy, dirty coat. There's several, they can swap out. I can't tell. Getting dark earlier. It'll be longest night soon. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. What's some brownies? I make it brownies. And Yeah. Maybe lasagna. I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you like scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's gotta take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Uh no more than anyone else. Well, I do like being B, but at what cost? Hi, Germ. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. It was a stressful time senior year. I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. You're a good guy, Germ. Unlike some people who are dead. I'm so tired. I could like curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, um. Wait, everybody shut up! Somebody coming up the stairs? Tell me it's May. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? It's gonna be May. There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. Maybe it's not gonna be May? Oh! Well, you're not outside the door! I think she fell off the cliff. I wonder if I would have been caught if I had failed at any of those jumps, because I let- I nailed them all. Absolutely. So maybe I did just barely get away with having witnessed murder cults? Shouldn't use the word murder cult. Makes it real. Now I've acknowledged that there is a murder cult. It could have been... Could have been something else. Not doing any jumping puzzles anytime soon. That's a tall whatever this is. You okay, May? You looking rough. You're looking rough, my dear. Do you wanna go tie rope walking on the poles? Please let us find Molly Mawcop, or our parents, 
or B or Gregory or even stupid teenage kids, even the dumb teenage kids who listen to goth music and ask us questions. Literally anyone who's not a cultist. I've stopped walking. Uh oh. May? Don't give up on me, May! May! You just need to rest for a bit, right? Keep your head in the game. Keep it together, May! Nightmare eyes? Oh! God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this we can call out and know that our cries are heard. <laughs> hmm. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May? You're not dead, are you, May? That'd be nice. May's a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And... and she loved to hear about them. She... <laughs> I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known me as a kid down the street. <laughs> oh, a little younger than... sorry, wrong voice. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce, and... I just think it's not fair. That May, of all people, should have trouble. Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. Now speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself! Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they're out in the woods at night. Down the end of Center Avenue. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. May fell and... She must have fallen a million things, off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh, well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. You are not a well-wisher because I don't recognize you. You're a spy from the murder cult! See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Whoa. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, it's supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor! The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God! What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May? Honey? Everything. Well, this is a familiar format. We're out and about. We are not going to be doing any jumping puzzles today. Just gotta go out to 
things. We didn't get to go talk to mom or go down the stairs. I get the feeling someone's gonna talk to me very soon and that it's gonna be in my best interest to maybe not- It was us outside the door! Oh my god. Oh my god, May? It was gonna be May. Holy shit, it's May! It's me. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed! I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. And I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. Or did she? There's some kind of some time jumps in there. I sure hope she's alright. Uh-huh. Both of you, shh. No! What? It's less noisy. So how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well as long as there's a plan. That's not the greatest plan. I don't like this plan. Hello? Hello? Look who's awake. It's him, it's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! Oh, food does not taste good. So what happened? We called the cops. You ran and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? <laughs> no, I, I just took a very long nap. Nice. Um, yeah, nice. I shouldn't have eaten that crust. I had this dream. Or, like, a vision? Or I time traveled? I don't know, I'm... I'm like getting out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll, we'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm, I'm gonna just sleep here. Bee's there? Bee's here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have Bee drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweet sweetie. I'm- I am- I have concern. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. Uh, you need your guts. For the moment, at least. Hey, guys. Crimes? Dude, wild week, huh? You can say that. When we get out of this, um... I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't. And we're ghosts. We should hang out more. Deal. 
What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, uh, years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. It's a good story, Jerm. You're a good guy. Thanks for, um, just being weird and not, like, psychotic. Weird's good right now. Hey, B. Hey, B. -B. They got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Can we all hit the sack? I think it's time. Cool, I'll be right out. Drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe if you leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, Germ. Maybe bye forever, Germ. Oh, this is like a sleepover, B. This is nice. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly, like... Something broke. Broke? It was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like... I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never ever would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization like dumped out of the screen and into real life. I went outside and the tree out front I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff, stuff in the universe, just dead. Wow, that's, uh, huh. And the next day was that softball game, and Andy was the pitcher when I was up, and he was just shapes too, just lines someone wrote, like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. With Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said... It would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda? Sorta? But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people. And there was this statue of like the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. 
where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head? In my life? I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And the half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety and like, I don't know. What you're going through, it, it exists. I... I thought when I came home, I just... I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then, all this... And... 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 Shh. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I... <laughs> Cannot sleep. Bye, guys. I love you. The hole in the center of everything. Man, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Are we going back to the cult on purpose? What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. Whoa! That's a crime! Boom! Get away from her, you piece of shit! You're outnumbered, asshole. Ugh, you shot me! And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, B! <laughs> you okay? Where did... What are... What did... Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess! No, I have to go alone. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, we're not listening to you, May. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk, May? I... I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go do something really stupid. We're gonna Scooby-Doo this stuff! Gate's open. Ah, oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something? Ah, oh, dang! You're right! No. He... it... whatever. I have to go down in there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one... something. Bang bang! Just go now. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. Ha <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down here. Just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Nice callback, guys. Classy. A 
Lever? Nope. I mean, it probably is a lever, but we don't get to use it. Maybe Angus will use it. He's in the right position. Look, they took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. Are you sure we wanna do this? Yeah, man, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <coughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay, then. We'll come out of this together. Or not at all. Oof, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years. Yeah, it's just a elevator to hell. A elevator. Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? Yes. He'd be a good tour guide. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This isn't the brochure? I mean... It's cool. It's kind of a tourist attraction. Well, here we are. <coughs> May you okay? I have my inhaler. No, no, I'm fine. It's just, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> Little dark humor. As we wander deep in the dark. This looks kind of like where we came in. Is that a firefly? I see little lights. It's kind of like the stars from the dream sequences. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Ah, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through here there. That definitely looks like an upside down star or a pentagram, if you like. Which also seems to remind me of the secret handshake that we got from the from the babe that we met at the party. I don't know if that's a coincidence or if that is related. Kind of glad for B cigarette right now, as that is now the only thing we can see. I know you're in here. Say something. What about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself! Yeah, so we're like five times scarier than you! There they are! They're right there! I'm gonna kill them! Alright, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me! Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call, I am sorry. Uh, it's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Uh, who are you? Bunch of old boys doing the damnedest. 
to protect their own and their neighbors. Th then, why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? No man's gonna kill you. All well, you a part of this town. By family, relation, or just by being hard workers. Contributors! Um, okay. So, we can just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait, do so you think that I'd... He kidnapped that kid at Harpfest! He... Been in my head somehow! I'm always tired! Constant headaches! He's been following me! Following all of us! He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God! I've seen this! Or I've... I felt it! It was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. Twenty years back or so, after the West Mine closed out past Brittle, Fess Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper, abandoned, shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through that wall, finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole never hits bottom. Egg calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. <clears throat> in dreams? And in waking times. It's what brought you down here. What? What is it? So what does this have to do with you or me? No, I want to know what it is. Black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there. In that hole. Looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why wouldn't you just do something a hole in a cave told you to? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Job's gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? I... I... Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it, but he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones he takes a shine into, he rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it, but they said I could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger, and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked? First time? First went into the hole by our own hands. We own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You threw them in the hole? You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so he starts singing. 
and it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh god. Oh no! Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad was a rap sheet a mile long. Before whatever sad, sad, sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you wanna act like we didn't do him in this whole town a favor? Oh God, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg, he was my friend. All right now, throw it down right now or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. Hey, hey! Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg! Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We're not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old Mills, puff and smoke, you kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be, you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying, no opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. I'm gonna die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying. That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why shouldn't we just call the cops? And say what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run. That you saw a hole. Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? 
You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Hey, fair they get to leave, and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Aide. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Aide, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Mine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I... I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. <laughs>